hello everybody. It is me, your friendly neighborhood fox, and uh, we're going to be playing a game called They Are Here. It is an alien abduction horror, which somehow we've not played an alien game? Uh, so we're going to do that. Uh, I want to ask if you guys want to start with the demo or, or the prologue, but by the time you're seeing this, it's not going to matter. So I guess let's start with the demo. Unexplained phenomena occurred at Gray's Wood Farm on the night of August 7th. The Sherman family witnessed bright lights in the sky that moved at breakneck speed over the cornfield. The lights moved in a random direction at the different speeds. At After a while, they vanished. The strange behavior in the sky was observed at the same time each night for five nights, according to the owner of the farm. All the animals went crazy. The dog became aggressive. They tried to attack him and bite him. The children complained that someone was walking under their windows. Farmer Peter Sherman himself in the field saw a strange figure that did not look like a man. What is it? Deliberate deception? Drawing attention to oneself? Or sensation about an alien invasion? Journalist Taylor Fox travels to Greywood's farm to take a photo and make reports on the local newspaper. Okay, we're here. Task, talk to Farmer Peter Sherman. Okay, we gotta zoom in. We can run. Can we crouch? Doesn't seem like we can crouch. Left mouse button to take a photo. Okay, this is great material for a news report. What was that? Hello? No, okay. Okay. Well, knock knock. Inspect the house. Farmer's note. Mr. Fox, we made an appointment, but something bad happened. Our daughter went missing. My wife went to town for help. My son and I went to check out the farm. We'll leave notes for you and the police in case we pass each other. Be careful. Peter Sherman. Interesting. Okay. Inspect the house. Okay. Not working. Okay. Locked? Locked. Interesting place for your fridge. Oh my god, the fridge actually has sound! Oh! I love it. Okay. Let's keep going. Newspaper? Old newspaper. This old newspaper has information about UFOs and crop circles. These phenomena have been seen throughout the state for a long time. Why would I never know about this? Extraterrestrial hypothesis still unproved. Okay. Um. Did I say hypothesis? Okay. I'm just gonna go with it. That's what came out my mouth. Cute little house. Uh. I take it this is the kids' room that went missing? Because I'm going to assume they climbed out that, uh that there. Megan. What was this? Farmer's note. This is my daughter's room. During the night, I heard a strange noise. When I came in, she wasn't in her bed, and the window was wide open. I'm sure she was abducted by those things. In this photo, members of the Sherman family. 
members? There's only one person, right? Walkie talkie. Apparently it belonged to the missing girl. If you listen closely, you can hear very strange sounds. Okay. I did not close that door. It should not be behind me. Or close behind me. Thank you very much. Shoes? And a sock? Ooh, fancy. Okay, I can only- oh, oh wait, what was that? Oh, it's the lock. Okay. Printed photo. Photos from the internet. Perhaps Peter Sherman saw something similar. It looks creepy. Oh, okay, it says the same thing. I'm still gonna take a look at all of them, I guess. Make sure. Yeah, I saw something similar. That's a gray. Okay. Farmer's Children's Diary. Sicker. I found my old diary from when I was 15 years old. How could I forget that? Diary, uh, diary text. Today was the most exciting and scariest day of my life. I saw the aliens. My parents think I'm lying. But it's, uh, but it's true. I was, I was fishing from an old abandoned pier on the river. Suddenly, I was deafened by a roar coming from behind. I turned around. Very low above the ground, a huge disc with their flashing lights or windows were hovering. I felt a punch that seemed to throw me into the air. I froze there as if it was in zero gravity. Everything around me became blindingly bright, and I seemed to lose consciousness. I remember seeing, uh... Three aliens with gray skin and big eyes. I was placed on a table as if I was welded to it. They were standing over me. It seemed to me that they were communicating with each other telepathically. Then one of them came over and did something to my head. I don't remember anything. I woke up on the pier later in the evening and barely made it home. My head was buzzing. I walked home as if it was deli as if in a delirium. And when I got there, I found several cuts on my body and two small, very smooth holes behind my ears. What was that? I'm scared to sleep. Great material for the news report. Uh-huh, yep. Abduction. I only remember the alien abduction when I found my old diary. 
It was then that the nightmares be or migraines began. Cuts that I noticed then behind my ears were a trace of them. I'm sure they implanted something in me. Some kind of transmitter or implant. Because of that, I forget everything. I definitely decide or I defi defi <laughs> I definitely decided that I would get it. I'm not crazy. A little jar with a strange device. In the note, Peter Sherman claims that he cut an, an alien implant. Maybe take it. Oh my god, the heartbeat. Oh my god, I sh goosebumps. Oh. God. God, oh, it's so bright. Me in the fucking car. I don't wanna be out there no more. Oh, come on.
Holy fuck. Oh, that was- that was amazing. I... I can't wait to play- play the prologue now. Uh, fuck. Uh, I- I love you guys. That was... That was a lot. I- I'm just gonna leave it on Be Gay Do Crime. See you next time.